Hi guys, what's up? How are you doing today? Today we continue learning English with movies and the songs. We have an amazing movie which is on top of 10 the best movies of learning English. My husband is, um, well, he's required to speak publicly. I have a shame. <laughs> Perhaps he should change jobs. And what of my husband with a king? To me! Listen to me! Why should I waste my time listening to you? Because I have a voice! Yes, you do. Today with me, I have my amazing guest, the beautiful lady. This is Madame... Aziza. Aziza, yes. Aziza, you are from uh, Kazakhstan, from Kazakhstan, right? Kazakhstan. She was super happy to come. <laughs> today and uh, improve your English skills uh, together with us and help you guys as well to learn uh, the vocabulary and grammar. And today we have a super serious topic, uh, the grammar topic, which is called uh, the passive voice. Passive voice. Passive voice, okay. yes. Aziza uh, doesn't know what we're gonna do today. So all the, yes, all the exercises and the vocabulary she's gonna learn together with us. And we're gonna check what she knows and what she doesn't know. Cool? All yes. right. Wish and me luck. Of course. <laughs> Yeah. Of course, and good luck to you guys as well. I hope you will do everything great today. What is passive voice and how to form it? Grammar exercises. Vocabulary level from B1 to C2. Idioms and phrases. Unfortunately, uh, in September this year, 2022, the Queen Elizabeth II, yeah. she passed away. And uh, all our condolences to British people uh, who lost their queen. We are also we feeling uh, very sorry. It impacts uh, everyone around the world because she is a super important person uh, for the past uh, the whole century, I believe. Yeah, right? She's the whole been... century, and uh, we can consider her as a queen of the world. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> true. Today, her son is already the king, but in this movie we will see how exactly she became the queen, right? Because originally, historically, she was not supposed to be the one. And uh, we will see the story why uh, she became the queen. And uh, but actually, this story is about her father. War with Germany will come. And we will need a king whom we can all stand behind. King George VI became the king after his elder brother ascended the throne. After his death, his daughter Elizabeth II inherited the throne. The actor Colin Firth got the award of the best actor for that role. Colin Firth, the King's Speech. This is the first Academy Award and second consecutive nomination for Colin Firth. When you have this emotional contact with, with the topic as well, you will remember it faster and better. All right, so that's why today our uh, grammar topic, the passive voice, is based on the movie. There are plenty of examples in the movie. What exactly you remember about the passive voice? What is this topic about? <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Uh, be, uh, I will be more specific. So in English, we have active voice. Yeah. And we have mm -hmm. passive. So by the name already passive, we can guess that is not you the one who's gonna do the action right yeah. because you are not active mm -hmm. in the sentence you are gonna be the passive one mm -hmm. yeah so basically the this topic is uh, how to make a sentence in the meaning that you are not the ones who did the action like the action uh, was done upon you the passive voice is formed by the main verb B and regular verb with ending ed or irregular verb in the third form. For this grammar topic, we have to understand how the active voice is made, and then based on the active voice, we're gonna form the passive one. So this B is going to change its forms 
according to all the grammar tenses, the active ones. The ending ed plus third form is gonna stay there untouched. Ready? Okay. <laughs> All right. So while learning the grammar, we're going to through the most amazing vocabulary in the movie as well. And this movie is so grammatically and literally amazingly done. That's why it's called one of the top best movies for learning English. And we're going to see also the amazing British humor. There are plenty of jokes. We're going to go through them <laughs> as well. Yeah, even though the movie is very serious, but also it has the touch of uh, fun as well. So let's go for it. That's let's happy. start. Mm -hmm. Yes. Insert them into your mouth. Hmm? Excuse me, doctor. What is the purpose of this? Uh, it's the classic approach. His wife never uh, lost his faith yeah in treating him and helping him and she was um hiring doctor by doctor one by one to see if anyone can actually cure his disease now we're going to go through the words and the first word was that yes enunciate um, and i'm already shocked <laughs> but, right. but Madame Olga is going to help us. Sure, of course. So he gave him the marbles, he asked him to read, and he cannot read, he cannot say anything, and he's telling him, enunciate. Enunciate. So what he's asking him to do? Oh, maybe uh, this can be uh, um, equivalent to pronounce, maybe. Yes! Yeah? Great! Amazing! Okay. My husband has seen everyone, to no avail. Uh, awfully afraid he's given up hope. He hasn't seen me. Awfully sure of yourself. She helps her husband. She supports him. And how she is with the kids, I mean, she, it's amazing. She is an example of how to be the wife and the mother for me. She is top, top. Well, I'm sure of anyone who wants to be cured. Of course he wants to be cured. This is our first example of our passive voice. Mm -hmm. This is our first example and this is the best example to start learning passive because here it's uh, presented in not changeable form. Because uh, we know that the form of the passive is B plus our ending ED or third form. And this is an example exactly with the infinitive. Yeah, infinitive okay. is not changing. To be is, is to be. I want to be maybe driving to work. Driven, by, yes. driven yes. to work by, by my colleague. Oh, by my colleague. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sure of anyone who wants to be cured. Who wants to be uh, what? Like to be treated. Uh, no. Uh, to be healed yes know. yes yes that's the one to cure someone is to make a sick person healthy recovered. again yeah. yes to be recovered my husband is um well he's required to speak publicly perhaps he should change jobs do you see here an example of the passive voice already do you, he's, you uh, yeah he is required he is required. required so he is not the one who requires some mm -hmm. something yes the action is done uh, upon him someone requires yeah. him to to speak uh, publicly and here we have an example already of passive voice uh, but in the present simple tense what goes after he he is yes okay. as simple as that mm -hmm. is so we know that to be in the present simple it's m is r so mm -hmm. he is a subject is required is going to be our predicate yeah and i can see from the from is that it's already present simple he is required to speak publicly how to understand this require require is like he's asked or to do a, something yeah to do something he asked or he's expected to do something require level b2 to need something or to make something necessary this game requires total concentration to order or demand something or to order someone to do something especially because of a rule or law we're required to check your identification before letting you in i thought the appointment was for johnson forgive me your royal highness royal highness 
It's Johnson was used during the Great War when the Navy didn't want the enemy to know he was aboard. Oh yeah, Johnson Johnson was used. Was used. used. Great. Yeah. So they didn't use the name was used by some other people. Okay. So uh, which tense is it? It, uh, it it's past tense. Great. How do you see it? Was oh, you see progress, boom, boom. progress. I'm learning so fast. <laughs> yes. So in the past simple, mm -hmm. uh, to be in the past, it's the second form. It's irregular verb. When we open the irregular verb list, we see be has two forms: was and uh, where. Where? Mm -hmm. Yes, was and where was for singular, where for for plural mm -hmm. form. Yes. So we change be to the past was where and mm -hmm. our ending remains the same ed plus uh, third form use its regular verb that's why there is ed aboard level c1 on or onto a ship bus or train the flight attendant welcomed us aboard am i considered the enemy you will be if you remain unobliging an example of passive but in the question form consider to have a particular opinion about something he is currently considered the best British athlete. Be highly considered. Expression. To be very much admired. I don't like her books, but I know she's very highly considered. Oh. I was told not to sit too close. No one can be closer to the uh, king or to the royal family members closer than five meters. Here we can see again an example of our passive voice, of our topic, subject. I, predicate, was told, two words together, yeah? Because it's mm -hmm. one form. Okay, cool. I love the conversation. It's one of my favorite uh, scenes uh, in the movie. They're the first time they met. Well, I believe when speaking with the prince, one waits for the prince to choose the topic. English humor here, mm -hmm. amazing. Waiting for me to... Commence a conversation, one can wait rather a long wait. <laughs> so yeah. he's making fun of himself that mm -hmm. you will, you're gonna wait for a very long time until you know I start expressing something in a proper way. Commence. Level C2. To begin something. We will commence building work in August next year. Even if you do the presentation, even if you do the training, you can ask someone, you can commence the training, you can start, you training. can begin. So that's the, the level. Okay. okay. So that's how I'm going to talk on next management meeting. Uh, sure. <laughs> Let sure. me commence this meeting. Do you know any jokes? Timing isn't my strong suit. <laughs> made uh, a joke about himself again english humor we can clearly see it either expression or phrase or idiom a particular skill or ability that a person or organization has yeah so for example you have a great skills in uh, painting mm -hmm. and you can say that painting is my strong suit he cannot speak fast he cannot pronounce the words uh, correctly that's why the joke is not gonna be a joke in the end of the time. Aren't you going to start treating me, Dr. Logan? Only if you're interested in being treated. Here we have the synonym of the word uh, uh, treat and cure. Treat. Give medical care. Level B2. To use drugs, exercises, etc. to cure a person of a disease or heal an injury. To make someone uh, better, but it doesn't mean that in the end of the process it, it's gonna help him. The doctor uh, was treating me with this medicine, but it didn't cure me. Only if you are interested in being treated. Here we have a so gerund example. Gerund. To remember for you what gerund is, it's a verb with the ending ing we can see here be in yes mm -hmm. but it's not continuous tense so gerund is the verb of with ing that is used in the sentences after uh, prepositions for example i am capable of um, finishing uh, this project within a day i cannot say i'm capable of finish Mm -hmm. I cannot say I'm capable of to finish, only the gerund is, requi is required uh, there, is needed, yeah, so we have already 
<laughs> required immediately. Yeah. We use uh, the words from uh, our vocabulary. For example, I'm fond of uh, painting, yeah, but to change it into passive, like I like someone to paint me. I'm fond of painting. We need to change into B. B I N G. Yes, being. Pain. I'm fond of being. Pain. And now we take our the word paint and add yeah. ending e e e ed. E e so I'm fond of, of being painted. painted. Like I, I like to be the model, and someone makes uh, a picture out of me. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, please don't do that. I'm sorry. It was the reason why actually he died. He was a heavy smoker. He had a lot of stress during the World War II and uh, all of that ended up in... Uh, yeah, I, I think it caused him a cancer. Yeah, I think yeah. Lungs so cancer. smoking, yes. Mm -hmm. That's why, guys, we see here another example for you to maybe consider to quit smoking in case <laughs> you are or not to even start. I believe sucking smoke into your lungs it will kill you. My physician said relaxes the, the throat. Here another British humor, okay? Mm -hmm. So he and he is answering. So they are idiots to to say like that. Well, they're idiots. They've all been knighted. Makes it official then. <laughs> you understand the, the joke? Yeah, they have been knighted. Knight uh, is a it's a warrior. The man. Yeah. Who has some rank of higher position yes for some special achievements that he made for the royal family or for the country and after that uh, you have to call him sir back in the days a long time ago the knight was the warrior with this um armor yeah with the helmet and the sword mm. yeah he was uh, the knight which grammar tense is used over here and how it's been transformed into passive voice Okay, they have been. Yeah, have, great. Yeah. Present perfect. Present perfect? Present perfect. Yes, the action that started in the past mm -hmm. but finishes now. Okay, okay. so uh, how the present perfect is formed? Have, has, and then we have the third form, right? Mm -hmm. So we keep have, has, okay. and our third form we have be yes of the passive so we need to transform be into the third form so irregular verbs to be was where been bean. so the third form is been and then we have the ending of the formula of the passive voice the third form again yes or yeah. ed that's mm -hmm. how it makes so we have three words of uh, the passive have has been, been and it's ending ed and or ed. third form so so, yeah. so this is passive uh, present perfect pre present passive perfect. yes present perfect passive mm -hmm. so have been knighted so they it's our subject and the predicate it's all three words have been knighted it's like one formula one sentence they are going all together so the word that has been translated or understood um, in the sentence is only knighted mm -hmm. have is muted we skip it it's just the part of the formula being skipped it's just the part of the formula only the word for understanding is knighted why i emphasizing on that because i've seen some students who couldn't recognize the grammar tense in the sentence they've been trying to translate or understand each word hmm. well, why are you here then because i bloody well stammer it's very hard for him to accept it but he has to that he is a Stammer. stammer not to pronounce the words straight away like to hesitate to pronounce them or to have this gap yeah it's mm -hmm. difficult for you to get the sounds out of you when did you start four or five that's typical so i been told. Again, example of the passive voice that someone told me. I've been told, and it's an example already. We we've seen it. Discussed. Present perfect Present tense. Perfect. I, I can't remember not doing it. I can believe that. Do you hesitate when you think? Don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous. Level B two. 
stupid or unreasonable and deserving to be laughed at. Do I look ridiculous in this hat? How about when you talk to yourself? And everyone natters to themselves occasionally, Bertie. Everyone natters to themselves occasionally. Occasionally means from time to time, yes? But what it means everyone natters to themselves? How to understand it? Everyone natters. Yeah. Natter. To talk continuously for a long time without any particular purpose. You can also say, chat. Once he starts nattering, you can't stop him. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to learn the words that are connected to the word talking. <laughs> Yeah, you see, we have already enunciate, we have enunciate, already yeah. uh, comments, uh, stammering, we have already commands to start a conversation and matter. Stop, stop calling me that. I, I'm not going to call you anything else. Then we shan't speak. Will not, it's won't, mm -hmm. but shall not, it's shall not shan't. shan't. We can meet it only maybe in uh, the movies or in the books, but officially like i i didn't hear anyone saying the word shall but just for you guys to rem to remember that it's just the old school variation of the future tense in case you forgot or maybe you didn't know yeah good to know <laughs> shall. we need to relax your jaw muscles strengthen your tongue by repeating tongue twisters for example they realize that actually this doctor can do something yeah you know even though i watched this many times before no i don't remember but still it gives me goosebumps <laughs> i'm a thistle sifter i have a sieve of sifted thistles and a sieve of unsifted thistles because i'm a thistle sifter fine how he says it by repeating tongue twisters for i'm example, a thistle i'm a thistle sifter i have a, a, a sieve of sifted thistles and the sieve of unsifted thistles <laughs> oh my god guys <laughs> if you want to practice <laughs> please you're gonna do. break it down you might be requested to assist in coping with with some minor event so what is he is asking him to assist when he has to speak publicly might be requested might be requested to assist might it's modal verb modal yeah verb. you remember modal verbs like can, can may, may might must mm -hmm. should yes these are our modal verbs and after modal verb should be infinitive should uh, but without two it's very easy yeah to to transform active into passive with the models because after can just be in its original uh, way without two as it goes by formula uh, by the rules of what should be following after the model yeah. yeah easy okay easy. okay Oi, request what is this request request uh, you might be uh, needed needed asked so it's similar to required yeah required asked to ask for something politely, politely. or officially. Mm. When we say you might be asked, it's it doesn't have the meaning of politeness. Yeah, but when you say you are requested, mm -hmm. so it's in a, it means, yeah, a in a polite, a, a polite way. way. So some time passes, the years go by, and the fa their father uh, got old, and unfortunately he dies. Mm -hmm. He dies and uh, here we meet his brother older brother who is actually supposed to be the king he is now has an affair with the woman i think she was married or oh, she had kids she was married she was already married he cannot marry a woman mm -hmm. who's been already divorced so it's yeah. against the church what nurse is that he thinks only about her yeah not about father not about his family not about his mom brother or the the people of the country just he, his woman mm -hmm. i'm trapped an example of passive voice m is a present simple, simple tense i was informed after the, the fact that my father's my father's last words were i was informed again example of our passive voice past simple mm -hmm. bertie has more guts than the rest of his brothers put together what it is to have guts 
to know well, maybe uh, it's, it's to, to be build. brave and to be mm -hmm. determined I was wanted to build models my father wouldn't allow it He'd collected stamps so we had to collect stamps they didn't allow them to do the hobbies that they liked so this is this was the first uh, example of pressure of the kid did David ever tease you oh yes they all did Bertie father encouraged it so the second ch uh, childish trauma is teasing uh, to make to make fun of yes yeah. great exactly this is the meaning tease level b2 to laugh at someone or say unkind things about them either because you are joking or because you want to upset that person i was just teasing i didn't mean to upset you are you naturally right-handed left he sees, yes, mm -hmm. that he does much better with his left hand. Mm -hmm. But we know that back in the days, people couldn't understand there can be right-handed people and left-handed people. Mm -hmm. And because the majority of the people were right-handed, they were thinking that the left-handed people, it's some kind of like, it's, it's a problem, yes? Mm -hmm. So the person is not all right. I was um, punished and, and now I use the right. Yes, that's very common with stammerers. You see, I was punished. Mm -hmm. So they were maybe beating him or doing something to for him to use the right hand. So example of passive voice. We can see it in the past tense. I was, was punished. Punish. Level B1. To cause someone who has done something wrong or committed a crime to suffer by hurting them, forcing them to pay money, sending them to prison, treating somebody badly, violently, or without care. He punished the class by giving them extra work. Any other corrections? No knees. We already see the fourth problem when mm -hmm. the knees are together and the, the legs look like the letter X. Metal splints for me. One, one day and night. One also passive, but where is uh, omitted because it was used before made. Yes, where made and warning. Must have been painful. Bloody agony. Who were you closest to in your family? Nannies. You can see now the fifth problem that was happening when he was uh, a little kid. Not my first nanny. She, she, she loved David. Hated me. When we were presented to my parents we are presented again passive voice she pinched me so i'd cry and be handed back to her immediately i'd cry and be handed back again passive voice but i would cry and be handed it's uh, the future tense future in the past she pinched me so i would cry how we form the future tense will a would plus first form mm -hmm. yes i uh, will go oh. we have will we have first form mm -hmm. first form of b is b itself it doesn't change right mm -hmm. so that's why that's how it goes i will be handed or i would be handed back to her immediately what about your brother johnny johnny he's a sweet boy he died at 13 it's already the sixth problem. He, as a little boy, he, he's gone through the death of his brother. Mm -hmm. So we can see how much he suffered, and that's why we see the result of his stammering. What I learned today, a lot of words that I, I didn't understand that time, I just found out. And uh, the gra grandma, the grandma at school was always like the most boring. I think I, I understood uh, those things that I was studying at school for five, six years more clearly. Thank you guys for watching. Please write the comments what you've learned today, how was the grammar explanation and the vocabulary and the movie itself. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, <laughs> of course. We wish you a great day and Bye-bye. See you in the next video. Learn English with Olga. <laughs>